tried to turn me over. Oh, man, that'll hurt your hands. There's a sinker. Here he comes. Oh, wow. What a fighter. <laughs> It's a monster blue cat seed. <laughs> so long, fella. Bleep. Number seven. Feels like we got a fish. And we do. And he's keeping size. Woohoo! Come here, Mr. Fish. There's a keeper. <laughs> Get the hook out of you. Give me my jug back. There's a keeping catfish. Lay you right up here, buddy. You can ride right up here. Stay there. Wow, that I can. That uh, woodpecker's going to town somewhere over there. Okay. Okay, so I realized that for a lot of people, cleaning fish is not a very pleasant task. But look, if you're gonna survive the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> you're gonna have to know how to clean a fish. <laughs> you're gonna have to eat something, right? And there ain't gonna, might not be anybody around to clean the fish for you. So, showed you how I catch them. Now I'm gonna show you how I fillet a catfish. And you might be thinking, well, you're doing this on a dirty old wooden table kind of thing. That's okay. The meat's never gonna touch that table. So what do you need to do this? Well, first you need one dead catfish. That's about as dead as they come, okay? <laughs> Second thing, <laughs> you need a very sharp knife, a knife sharpener, and a pair of pliers. That's all you need, okay? That's all you need to do what I'm going to do. So, sharp knife. You want to make sure that that knife is sharp all the way out to the tip. Catfish skin is very abrasive. If you've ever put it on a hook or tried to get it off of a circle hook, then you'll know how tough cat cat catfish skin is. It dulls knives pretty quick. We got three fish to clean. Got to have the knife sharpener handy. All right. Okay. How do you start? <clears throat> this fish got poked by one of the others with this, you know, one of those fins poked him right there. So that's nothing. So how do you start? fish laying on his side and the first cut you're going to make and all we're going to do is cut right through the skin okay the first cut you made is going to be a diagonal see this little hump right here that's a hump of good meat right there that's where you want to start just going to cut the skin just like that at a diagonal okay just the skin now you're going to come straight down the back all the way to the tail and again you're just going to cut the skin all the way down to the tail okay now you can kind of see the, the the slab of meat going all the way down through here and down into here so you're going to follow this bone line this is the belly over here's the belly right there you can see that bone line okay 
when you cut the skin this time, you're going to follow that bone line all the way down to the bottom of the tail, right? This bottom fin, and then straight down the tail to the back. You don't want to mess up that meat right there, okay? So we're just going to cut. You see how my knife is already out at the tip, starting to get dull. That's why it is important to have that tip sharp. Okay, right down to the tail, see that? And right down that tail. Okay, and the last cut, straight across the tail between those two. Okay. Now the pliers. Okay, here's what we're going to do. See this corner right here where we cut that? I want to make sure that little flap comes off right there. And we're going to pull this skin off, all the skin and all the fat in one pull. cut through the skin up here see it if you don't get a cut all the way through the skin you'll tear it and you won't be able to pull it off all in one pull maybe we'll get it this time ah. gotta get that little flap up ah come on Slippery little sucker. There we go. Now we got a flap. All that skin and all the fat in one pull. Just like that. Okay. Alright. Now here's what most people miss. See that piece of meat right there? That's a good little piece of meat. Most people will start their fillet down about here. Alright. And they miss that piece of meat. And again, that's where he was stuck by that other fish. Cut that out of there. All right. So what you do is you come down here and you're going to stick that knife straight up underneath the flap right there. And now just follow the ribs. Follow the ribs all the way down. Oops. Got into the skin. All right. Now we're just following it down, following it down, following it down. All the way to there. Now look at that flat, that fillet of meat. Now come up here. Oops. And cut that piece off. And there you go. There's your uh, slab of catfish. Alright. Now we're going to turn him over. Do the other side, same way. Right there's that hunk of meat. Diagonal cut. Come down from the top up here, straight down. And you're going to leave just a sliver of skin on top of this fish so you can get by that bottom, that top fin back here at the back. Okay. It's so going to cut all the way down there. I'm going to cut him up here. You sharpen that again? Yeah, I need to sharpen it again. Ugh. See how see how it dulls the knife so so quickly? All right, coming all the way down to the just skirting that belly, cutting that skin all the way down. To the tail like so connect the two and again what we're going to start pulling is up here at this corner watch it okay just going to give him a little flap over so i can get a hold of it 
my trusty and somewhat rusty pliers. And now we're going to try and get this all in one pool. Ah, it tore again. Doggone it. This one's being a little... Oh, well, see, I didn't go through all the... If you don't get all the way through the skin, it will tear, and you won't be able to get it all in one pool. I've probably not through all, all the way through the skin up here either. Look at that. Now if I can get that right there. I got it. Same deal. Right through that piece of meat up here at the top. Right on top of the bones. And down we go. Oh my god, you can't put that in the video. That's just his nerves. Oh. This this fish is dead. <laughs> off that little morsel up there at the top. And there you go. Another nice slab of fish. One down. I mean you got this to throw away. Um, you, uh, A lot of people like to use the uh, belly meat for uh, jug bait, catfish jugs. Uh, a lot of people will actually use pieces of skin catfish skin on the catfish jugs that seems to work for them pretty well I guess and uh, we're gonna set him over here